Hello everybody, Gumblet here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up VR on Gary's Mod. Um, for those of you who want to play, you know, the Half-Life campaign or any other game modes that Gary's Mod does on VR, um, that's the only reason I've actually got it, is for the Half-Life campaign. Um, so let's just get right into it then. Um, so the first thing you want to be, obviously have Gary's Mod load up on the main menu, and then you want to go to add-ons, and you want to make sure all of your current add-ons are disabled um, and that way when you install the mods it won't clash with any of these add-ons in here um, so that is the very first thing you want to do and then the next thing once you have done that um, you want to go to the workshop and what you want to search is you want to search for ArcVR's official collection so in there um, you actually have the best guns, in my opinion, the best guns that you can get um, for the Half-Life experience. Because uh, basically how it works is you'll be able to obviously reload all the guns um, like manually instead of it automatically done in-game. Um, so you want to look up the collection, make sure you're in collection as well, that always helps. Uh, so you search that in there. And then this is the one here, so you want to make sure it's by Arctic. Arc VR official collection, and you'll see it has four stars. So, generally, that means it's the right thing. <laughs> and then you want to subscribe to everything in here. Um, and the reason you want to do that um, is it says so in the info box in Arctic Spy. So, I expect you need all of these for it to work properly. Um, you know, I don't know that 100%, but when I've done it, that's what I've done, and that's worked. Um, now the only problem here is with Arctic, um, I don't believe he has updated these mods. So where this mod here, which is done by Katsy, not Arctic, um, who actually made the VR mod, um, they've updated that quite a lot. So a lot of these don't actually work with it. So what you want to do in that case is you want to go back, then you want to uh, you want to type this in here and just put add-ons because I believe that came up before when I did that. Yeah, so you want to put this into add-ons instead of collections so that you have individual mods come up. And you'll see this here by Albert Fabreen, if that's collect correctly pronounced. Again, once you're on here, you want to make sure you read the description um, and make sure you read it really carefully. So basically what you need to do with this is subscribe to it normally. Anyway, this is what I've done. So you want to subscribe to it normally, close that, and then exit out of this. And then what we'll find is if we go back to main menu, and then we go back to add-ons. Um, basically, we're just downloading these now. So once those are downloaded, perfect. So now you should have all the add-ons downloaded. Um, so the first thing you'll notice is this mod right here, this add-on will be enabled um, and it's called Artix VR Guns. Now what you wanna do is disable that um, and that will avoid it clashing with the fix that you've downloaded. Um, so um, it will be said in the description to avoid conflicts. The fix only replaces the first wave, but fixes all waves. Um, so that's what you want to make sure you're disabled in before you go into VR. So once you've done that, we can then go back to the main menu. Uh, we can start a new game, and then generally the map. You can go on any map you want. I go on GM Construct just because I really can't be asked to download any other maps right now. Um, now, once you get into here, what we're going to do is we're going to use the console to load up everything that we need. So how you do that is you want to type in VR mod. You'll see if you've successfully installed it, you'll have all of these different commands on here. So you won't just have VR mod, you have like action editor, alt head, all of that. Um, but you just want to do VR mod. And then once you close this console down, resume game, you'll see this menu will pop up. 
now by default all the settings should be correct and if you've got the latest version this is exactly how this will be laid out um, now you don't want floating hands because that will just make everything invisible um, so if you want to see your hands obviously you want this enabled uh, disabled sorry um, you don't want to use weapon world models because that will just get rid of all of the new guns and it will just give you some really bad resolution models which won't be useful at all um, this you can just enable if you have a hard time aiming um, I personally don't have it enabled um, uh, this is I'm not entirely sure what this does but this is automatically enabled so I don't generally mess with it uh, smooth turning if you don't want to have the jerky turning um, alternate head angle manipulation method um, again not entirely sure what that does but I've just left that enabled um, automatically start the VR after map loads now this is really good for if you're playing through the Half-Life campaign um, because what will happen is it will load the new sections of the map and if you don't have this enabled you're going to have to go keep going back to computer and resetting it up so this just means you can just stay in your VR headset let it load automatically and you're all good to go and this one replacing the climbing mechanics so um, for instance if you were to go up a ladder you can actually use your hands to go up the ladder um, and I personally really like that mechanic so I like to have that on and again I don't touch this bottom one because I'm not entirely sure what that does uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to head and start that and I will see you in VR so um, obviously one thing I forgot to add before um, we go into VR obviously um, if you're on a Oculus Quest 2 which is what I'm currently using uh, you want to make sure you are already in the Oculus Link menu and ready to go um, so you have your, your whole Oculus turned on, enabled Oculus Link and you're right in that um, second menu that goes onto the PC um, and then the moment you're in Gary's mod and click start VR it will instantly transmit over to the headset and it should be all good to go um, now from here I won't be able to commentate because my microphone is not where my VR headset is um, but if there's anything that I need to add on I'll just put it in captions
Anyways, thank you very much for watching the video. Um, apologies that I couldn't commentate over the VR bit, um, but you know, hopefully it is not too long. Um, and I hope that this has fixed all of your issues. If you do have any questions, um, leave it in the comments below. And um, yeah, subscribe for more content. I'm probably going to be doing a, a Half-Life Let's Play as well. Thank you.